Do you believe in miracles? We got Fizzle in the house. Fizzle, what what's up, Fizzle? good, man? Fizzle, glad to have you here. Let's go. This the South Harmon Podcast. Glad you here today. Hit that Patreon link if you here to stay. Dynasty best ball, that's my favorite way. 40 chess trade show, let's make a trade today or check a AMA. You know Adam at the ATM. Mike always in the building, he gon' stay with him. They gon' start every show off with their own trade. Fantasy's a big ocean, they made their own wave. Make sure you tap in there Tuesdays and Saturdays. Tuesday night, Saturday morning, ain't no better way. Hit that notification bell when the news break. Go subscribe right now, don't get the news late. Destination Devi, that's the team. Dynasty football, man, that's my favorite thing. I remember Biggie said it was all a dream. Now people watching on their phones and computer screens. Welcome to the team. Welcome back in everybody to another edition of the Dynasty Trade Show. So glad you could join us. And we got a lot of trades to dive in. Adam out here fleecing people left and right. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Other than the uh, oh man, the fact that that it was uh, probably one of the most horrendous trades I think I've ever witnessed. <clears throat> and we caught a dead body, but we'll, we'll we're probably getting to that. <laughs> we'll probably touch on that one. Just a feeling. But before that, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. Um, <laughs> yeah, another another episode of the trade show. Uh, we got 13 trades to go through. Um, some like myself, my trade is not going to take much time. So um, I- I'm excited to get into some of these. I almost didn't put it on here, Mike, because I like I didn't feel like it was going to be actionable. Right? I want these to be actionable. So there's actually something, believe it or not, that I think can help you. Um, may not get that good of a deal, but kind of how it's formed and why, why you get a deal like that. Speaking of deals, if you want your deal featured on this show, patreon.com forward slash South Harmon, a dollar a month will get you in the door um, to a growing group of people. Honestly, it's, I think it's one of the best communities out there, period. Forget fantasy football. Um, so if you're interested, do that. If not, please just go down, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment, let us know what you thought of this week's trades. Go ahead and tell tell everybody else like how bad it is. The cops are looking for me, um, whatever it is. So <laughs> without further ado, we're actually going to get into a deal of Mike's first. So, Mike, um, go oh, ahead. Oh, and great. <clears throat> What's up, man? You, you don't want this deal getting on here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what one you pulled, man. I made so many. <laughs> here we go. All right. We had to get so one with Trophy one. Chase on here, man. I got Chase. This is the one I did with Chase, man. I listened to his podcast and I, I used what he said against him, man. Welcome to being a content creator. Welcome <laughs> to the life. to follow through with what you said. Yep. Yeah, so uh, in this one, I sent away Daniel Jones, the 301, and the rookie 209, all in 2023. And in return, I got the 107, the 203, and the 307 back. So uh, Chase, big Daniel Jones fan. Big Daniel Jones fan. Uh, Definitely rose this past year, Adam. I think everybody wrote him off. Uh, They hated him. He was was Zach Wilson before Zach Wilson. (laughs) Everybody hated that quarterback and actually had a really nice surprising year. Really rose up some people's ranks. uh, Approaching, what, top top 13, top 14, I would say. I know he's probably pretty securely in the top 15. He's safely top 15. I've I've seen him anywhere from... 13 to 14 typically i think he at one point he was 12 but that's kind of changed since the rookies are in the keep trade cut you know uh database right. now right right um a little context behind it best ball league right uh we we don't start what do we start 12 start 12 12 team <clears throat> best ball league yep um a lot of content creators in this league right so it's yeah, chase is in here there ike are. gene uh maddie our boy uh jones is in here so a lot of content creators in here uh and this is the league where uh, everybody kind of passed on quarterback last year, the startup. And if you remember, I think I took like eight straight or <laughs> nine straight quarterbacks in the startup. Sure Absolutely sure was do. horrible. Didn't trade a lot of them away. So uh, Daniel Jones is definitely a luxury I can just send away, right? I, I don't know what I have left at quarterback, but I'm sure it's a lot. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure there's still a lot of them. But yep. pretty good. The, uh, the rookie draft's actually going on right now. 
as we speak. So with that 107, to just put some context on it, if you want to know what the pick became, uh, ended up being Will Levis. So Well, it's interesting because had this been done before that, I was like, I know who you're targeting at 107. The question is going to be: the question is going to be, do you think you actually can get him there? Because we have had four going on this weekend, and Will right. Levis, believe it or not, has not been there at 107 every time. Right. We've had some people take him at 105. Uh, they definitely hopped on board the uh, the McNutt <clears throat> love train of Will Levis and taking him earlier than probably the community will. But just in general, the hate around Will Levis has been uh, pretty intense. So 107. For those of you who follow the content, listen to us. I talk about it all the time. It's kind of, kind of been my trigger point. Like that's a pick that I've been targeting for a while. So, if I got to send away Daniel Jones to go get it for me, if I'm just looking at dynasty ranks, man, Daniel Jones and Will Levis are going to be in the same tier for me. So, that's uh, <laughs> cool. I get that. I get the 203 from the 209. And I do have to trade back in the third round, but it's a best ball draft, so kind of the third round just becomes all the same. So, two hundred three. What did that end up being? Uh, Josh Downs. Yep. Josh Downs. For some reference, uh, we haven't got to. Oh, we just got two hundred nine. Two hundred nine just happened, right? Marvin Mims for uh, for Chase. So that's where we're at, man. What do you think about this one when you saw this go down? You're in the league too. I so. mean, <laughs> I mean, listen, I, you know, because I. Listen, I, I spend so much time with Mike. <clears throat> when this trade went down, I knew exactly what happened on both sides of it. Chase is because we just heard, you know, the uh, the new podcast on the Destination Debbie feed, and Mike, after the trade goes through, confirmed what I already knew, and that's, you know, I'm going to go ahead and utilize this information to get a deal I want. And when I saw Mike's, it's all, I'm literally, you could have told me, what I could have told you, it's uh, via trophy chase. Will Levis, two hundred three, Josh down. I could have told you all that. You didn't. I didn't. I, I seen that coming a mile away. So, um, I, I think really though, like when you think about it too, Josh Downs and Marvin Mims probably in best ball not that big of a difference if we're keeping it real, right? Right. <clears throat> I think the two hundred three versus two hundred nine, the pick trade, sounds pretty good. Uh, the three hundred one and the three hundred seven again, like there's just not much difference in these picks for best ball purposes, unless you end up landing a guy that gets a bunch of value jump. Um, I think it really comes down to Daniel Jones and Will Levis. And I will say I prefer the 203 over the 209 jump that you got there. I think this is a good trade and a fair trade. And I think this is the big thing. <clears throat> the bet becomes Will Levis. I think Will Levis has a sky-high ceiling. I think what's interesting is people – I don't know how much people are going to really value him highly there. Um, but I'm also one of those that's, you know – Fuck around and find out. I, I'm willing to fuck around and find out on Will Levis. I think right now Danny Dimes over Will Levis is going to be the majority of people that play Dynasty. But I think Will Levis has a ceiling that's higher than Daniel Jones. And the fact of the matter is for Daniel Jones, like I don't think he's ever going to get past this quarterback 13-14, even if he plays well. Like I don't think he has the range of outcomes to really go much up in Dynasty. So – it's going to be really more about just production safety that Daniel Jones uh, provides you and his rushing upside. I thought it's a pretty fair deal and a good constructed one, and Chase and Mike are not going to have right. some crazy deals going down. This is this is a fair deal. I really think so. We both kind of walk away with our guy, right? We both just kind of who we're planting our flag on, and his happens to be Daniel Jones. Mine happens to be Will Levis. Full disclosure, though, that 203 wasn't going to be Josh Downs. I love Josh Downs. <laughs> But uh, somebody sniped me right before my pick, and on we won't we won't mention who that was. On what player? Um, hmm. hmm. Hendon Hooker. Mm. And I hate you. Mm. I hate you mm. forever for it. So this mm. really should be me planting my flag. And you know what? Hooker and you know and what? First round draft. It's <laughs> funny because I wanted to make sure we started with this because guess what? You know, Mike says, "Oh yeah, you know who else is always listening? It doesn't say much, but always listening." Yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of always listening, Mike, man, good good deal for you. Just um, for that, man, that's the last time I send you a text when we're doing these drafts and you're on the clock. Come like, on. I'm going to let that. That, that, was, letting, uh, nope, that was in Heisman. Nah. That, I, that was in Heisman. <laughs> you put that out there for everybody. That wasn't with me. Don't 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 I'm, you. Nah. Uh -uh. I'm, let, nope. I'm letting that hit. Nope. I'm letting that hit auto every time. <laughs> every time. No more. <clears throat> no more me, me looking out. <laughs> Fair enough. Wow. Wow! It, it, look what you pulled off too. Like, okay, you want to come? You want to come at me? You, nah, you got this listen, done in a league we're you, in, and you, you snipe me on Hendon Hooker. It's horrible. Can you hear that? Uh, it's sirens. Listen, I'm I am laying low. Um, I would be. I am not 
leaving my house, I'm like in a, I'm in the basement like it's a dungeon, man. Because, Mike, uh, when this trade t- went went down, <clears throat> here's the thing. Uh, th- this is the OG shit league. So it's a 12 team super flex best ball star 13. Yes. I hoarded an insane amount of picks in this league. <clears throat> Basically started with the quarterback hoard, and then turned that into a. 2023 and 2022 and 2024 pick horde um slow play right so mike i have i think i had nine nine first and nine seconds right and i had a bunch of thirds so i I had a whole bunch of the draft now the interesting part was i think because of the way things have gone in this league and they you know we're creating content now people are basically i'm not we're not trading like we're not letting you get out of these picks we're gonna make you make them I had only gotten one offer for any of my picks in the first two rounds. One. Well, I probably sent you some. They were just horrible. Okay, let me say. Uh, let me re- <laughs> on the clock. On the clock. Yes, I'm sure okay. you sent me some, <laughs> on the clock. Let me rephrase. I'm, I'm glad you. I needed to add that on the clock. So, Mike, when this trade is in my inbox, <clears throat> I look at it like five times only because, like, I what am where am I missing the really good piece that I'm going to send away and not see here. So, <clears throat> I, I this just, happens. Just Go don't, ahead. Let, don't don't let me cut you off. But we do have a uh, a diehard loyal podcast listening group that needs to know what the actual treat is. They're probably in suspense right now. Yeah. Going like, <clears throat> okay. we can't see it. The YouTube audience can see how bad this is, but the podcast audience has no idea. I, I, <laughs> no I, I, idea. I will read it all off. All right, I'll read it off. So, I'm, I'm looking like what is the bad piece? So anyway, what I see in my inbox that I had to read multiple times to make sure I didn't get it r- wrong was. I'm going to receive Aaron Jones and Nick Chubb. I like I like to the start there, right? I'm going to send away <clears throat> the 301, which I had already just made that pick, and that is Sean Tucker. Then there was the 309, the 310, the 308, and the 410. So if you're listening and hearing or seeing, that's correct. There's four thirds in a fourth round pick in the 23 class, and I'm getting <clears throat> some aging – Valuable running backs that have had top 10 running back seasons. Right. Um, so, Mike, you know, obviously I see this and I, and I read it two, three, four times. I'm like, oh, I have to take this trade. Like, there's just – this is out, <laughs> this is outrageous. You didn't even bother to counter, did you? No, are you kidding? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to risk losing this by any stretch. First of all, it's already – like, I, when the trade went down, the comments were off the chain. Uh, Mike saying he's seen a dead body – and it just started from there. So <clears throat> when I made this trade, and I I wasn't going to put it on the show at first because I'm like, this is just insane. Nobody's going to get this type of a deal. And I had to think about why. Why is no one really going to get a type of deal like this? Mike, we're watching, uh, we're recording this on the last day of basketball before we go to the Final Four. As a guy that played right. basketball, I'm going to use a good analogy here, right? When you go to, and Mike, Mike play, when you go to rebound, most people may not realize this unless you really played the game. The majority of what you get as far as rebounding, it happens before, right? It's what you're doing before you get the rebound. It's all right. the work ahead right. of time. You know, you got to get position. You want to get leverage. You have to get yourself in the best position so that you can actually get the rebound, right? Why Why did I get this trade? Mike, if I only have two-thirds, even if, even if no games wanted to send me some awesome offer, th- those pieces don't exist. So I think it's actually two things. One – I had leveraged so many picks, and I had four thirds and a fourth. Now, should I have gotten Aaron Jones and Nick Chubb for those? No, absolutely not. That's not what I'm saying is actionable. But you have all these pieces that someone might want, and in best ball, Mike, what what have we seen for two years in this league? People were forced to get hip to what you and I do a lot of times, and that's tearing down, right? Second point, the first two rounds were basically me drafting, and no one wanted to trade, but so guess what happens? People start getting fatigue of this. They want to get their hands on something, they want right? Some of the action, man. Right? They want to get parted. And, and and this is once again, I'm not trying to act like this is a deal you're going to probably ever see. But the point is, if you leverage all those picks, fatigue of not making one, the, all the principles you may get when you get all, uh, all the leverage down low, right? You're going to work for a rebound before it comes, and then you're going to go make it. But every now and again, you get the right position. And the ball just comes, it's an air ball, comes right in your lap and you just get to lay it up. Like sometimes you'll get a crazy deal, maybe yeah. not this good, but something you shouldn't have gotten because you've done the right things all along. I mean, being that it's in best ball softens the blow just a little bit because you and I both know that sometimes 
those middling players can just absolutely carry your team on deep rosters. Um, is this an absolute steal? Yes, with with value. With, yes, with value yes. right now at this point in time it is. The one other thing I wanted to point out, though, that also kind of leads to this, Adam, is is we're doing a lot of these drafts pre-NFL draft. I think we mm-hmm. have, I was trying to count, I think it's 13, 14 maybe uh, rookie drafts or leagues that draft pre-NFL draft. And we started about half of them so far right now, and then we'll do the other half when I come back from vacation. But right. The thing I have noticed, Adam, is we had talked about how deep this class is and we mess around with mock drafts and we talk to we're blue in the face. I'm drafting teams with real money on the line and I'm making real decisions. And Adam, there are guys that are there in the mid third round on some of these drafts where I, I'm not shitting you at like the 204, 205. I'm, I'm having a debate with myself like, do I take this dude? Do I take him right now? And then I see in another draft, he's there at the 310 and you're going... Man, like like a good example of Sean Tucker. You don't know how many times I've been on the clock in the early second in some of these drafts and going like, do I have to take Sean Tucker right now? Right. Do I not take Sean Tucker? You're getting them around later. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ridiculous part is this class is is crazy deep with the information that we know now. The third round is is still littered with good guys that I want to pull the trigger on, especially in best ball leagues, not just lineup leagues, but especially in best ball leagues. So now, now Mike, I, uh, I do understand that some, but Nick Chubb is a uh, Nick Chubb. And I think Aaron Jones has got another year or two of pretty darn good production in him. So I'm not uh, trading. Agree, agree. I'm this not, is not I'm, a deal I'm not, we want to make. Yeah. I'm not trading those guys away for four thirds and nah, a fourth. No. Um, let me ask you this though. Because you do love Sean Tucker. <clears throat> Sean Tucker for Aaron Jones, one for one. How close is that for you? Closer. Okay. Closer. I'm just, I'm, I'm asking like, Better okay, so player. remove the 301. Like, because that pick was already made. So Sean Tucker and what gets you Aaron Jones? 309? Sean Tucker and a third. Yeah, I think I would do that. I mean, if we're talking about it. Okay. Because like, I think at 309, 310, three, these 308 range, like you could get Sam Laporta there, right? Three nine three ten, yeah. yeah, right. Like okay, so that at least gets I think to it, in the range of Aaron Jones. Maybe someone won't actually make that, but because it's a best ball, like it's that two for one. Maybe someone would do, but then even then, Mike, that would leave you three oh eight, three ten, and four ten <clears throat> for Nick Chubb. And we know at three oh eight, three oh nine, three ten, four ten, you're not getting a running back of Sean Tucker's caliber. Period. Um, you can take three shots, like. Maybe this trade ends up not looking that horrible. Maybe he gets two pretty good tight ends. He gets Sean Tucker. He lands a Roshan Johnson, something like that. Like it's not out of the range of possibilities that it's a it isn't horrible for him if they all hit. But the, the problem is they all have to hit. And right. the one I'll tell you one thing that this why this was so good for me on top of this, Mike. I had already made twenty picks before this. <laughs> I actually. I need to get rid of players because no You're one would trade me picks. You're running it, out this of helped me. Fun. This helped me do that. <laughs> like that was an added thing to this. So um, I don't want to, you know, talk about this crazy trade too much, um, even though it is fun. But and, I was and, really kind of hoping you'd have to make all those picks and then be over the roster limit and have to cut down like some of these third and fourth rounders that you made before you even get to see them play in games. It would have been fantastic. Yeah. Well, the other thing too, Mike, is I was looking for places like. Maybe I can trade out of seconds and first to get veterans. And I got to do it with third rounders. So um, sign me up. Here we are. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So please don't report me. Don't show this anywhere. Uh, don't, don't, re- don't, don't, get, don't, get don't, don't, don't send my, he, don't send my location. You know, does this, keep me he safe. Snipe, he snipes his best friend on Hendon Hooker. It's, it's just horrible. It's horrible. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it is what it is. It's, the, it's as Mike likes, it's content creator life, you know, um, your, your info's out there. So, all right, let's talk about Schlumpf. 12 team super flex start 11 lineup. Big trade here, man. Um, Kyler Murray versus Trey Lance. I think there is a sizable gap there now. Um, I still like Trey Lance, but it's Kyler pretty easy for you in this format, especially it being lineup does, um, Losing Bateman and getting probably a roster clogger and Isaiah Hodgins muddle it at all, or is it still just easy Kyler Murray? So Schlumpf got Kyler Murray and Isaiah Hodgins here. He sent away Bateman, Trey Lance. Man, I like Trey Lance, and I still rank him highly. 
But you remember kind of last year when I'm talking about it, you know, if I have shares of J.K. Dobbins, I'm shitting my pants, right? I'm shitting my pants on Trey Lance because I really don't know. Like, I think the talent's there. I still want to be that truther, but it's not great, man. <laughs> it's not great. He, you're out there getting insider information that doesn't sound good. I got Ray with insider information. It doesn't sound good. Uh, the 49ers themselves just don't make it look good. The Sam Darnold think, signing, <clears throat> especially too, the right? The Sam Darnold <clears throat> signing, right, doesn't make it look good. I, I'm just hoping it's like Houston just comes in and just goes, yeah, like we believe in Trey Lance. We'll take him off your hand, take a, you know, take our ninth pick or whatever the hell it may be. may even be less. Who the hell knows at this point? But like if that were to happen, I'd be back in on Trey Lance because I think his talent is phenomenal. But there's a sizable gap between him and Kyler Murray. Uh, very sizable, in my opinion. And people hate Kyler Murray. They hate Kyler Murray, but I think I don't think there's anybody out there who goes they wouldn't like Kyler over Trey Lance by a pretty big margin. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how much you hate Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray has shown you, has shown you for over the three years where he can be a very good quarterback. Trey Lance hasn't shown us anything yet. Right. That's that's another big part. I like I like Shoddy B man, um, but I'm also <laughs> really worried about him. Like you're getting two pieces here that you should be clenching your butt cheeks. <laughs> pretty tightly and uh i don't care just give me anything back I, I would have done this straight up i would have sent bateman and trey lance for kyler murray in any league that i'm in best ball lineup deep benches short benches deep starting lineup short starting lineups doesn't really matter uh you give me hodgins back i kind of like him as a dart but in a lineup league you're probably right at him he just ends up being a roster clogger like a dude that you're just gonna chuck off to the side this is all about getting the quarterback Give me the uh, the actual guy who's in the top 12 of <laughs> dynasty quarterbacks versus the one that, gosh, I just hope he stays within the top 15, 16. Please make that happen. The only way that's going to happen is if he is playing football and playing football pretty well um, yeah. for someone. Uh, interesting that you said that about Hodgins because I think another thing I will suggest to Schlump for anyone watching and taking the ideas that we're talking about here and making them work for yourself. Hodgins in start 11 lineup, because it's 12 teams and we're starting only 11, there's not enough it, – it, that does not require enough depth for Hodgins to make a threshold receiver. Like if this is right. 14 teams start 11, having a different discussion, right? <clears throat> if this best is 12 – league. Yeah, best ball league. If it's 12 teams start 13 or 14, we're having a different discussion about Hodgins. Here, Hodgins – should once again be a grease piece that you try to use like Bateman here, right? <laughs> like you give someone Bateman, you give someone Hodgins, and then you walk away with the two players that you're trying to get. So um, that would be the last thing I would say. Yeah, I, Trey Lance, I love the talent. <clears throat> Part of, though, him not playing his last year in college, right? Not getting to play that year. Him not playing his rookie season. But him being in this – very friendly San Francisco offense was like helping me still want to have him. I mean, maybe he will end up being the day one starter. Things don't sound great if I'm keeping it real from what I've heard, but it, maybe he will be. And maybe if that happens, he takes the job and runs with it because it is a very team friendly system for the quarterback. But man, if you put Trey Lance in Houston, like he hasn't played football in forever. He like I, th that's not a situation that makes me feel good about him actually being a good quarterback, which ultimately is coming up on his time because he's been in the league long enough now. Is he going to get a contract? Are they going to you know opt into the fifth year option? There's all these things coming up for Lance. So for me, this is this pivot to Kyler was a smash. So um, give me Kyler Murray here all day long. Great job. <clears throat> all right, B, B Hall, man, big 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 boy deal. Twelve team hey. superflex lineup start ten. With the tight end premium of one and a half. So we have Travis Kelsey, <clears throat> Amari Cooper, Tony Pollard, Jalen Hurts, and Damian Pierce. Those are being acquired by B Hall 7. Fitzmagic TD, uh, Fitzmagic, blast from the past, is getting Justin Herbert, David Njoku, Jahan Dotson, the 109, the 203, and he's also getting B Hall's 24 first. Mike, um, all those things in mind, what do you think about this deal? All right, so let's kind of break it down here. Let me try to to do this the best that I can. Um, Hertz and I mean, we start with Hertz and Herbert, right? Hertz and Herbert. I we, want Jalen Hertz more yeah, than Herbert, but I think too. it's it's close, man. Like, there's not a lot of pieces in here where I would 
You know what I mean? What, I mean, let like, me ask I you wouldn't this. Say, I, would you, you send? Have, right, wouldn't, you have, you need, wouldn't you need a two hundred three though to go get Jalen Hurts from Herbert, or do you think it's straight up? Man, two hundred three just feels too expensive, Adam. This is okay. a deal. Like if you and I were on either side, right? We just stuck to the Hurts and Herbert part, right? Say I got Hurts and you got Herbert. You and, and I like, wouldn't he, do it. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, no. We both look at each other and be like, "You're crazy, man!" Like I'm just as good with this guy. There's no way I'm giving you the two hundred three, right? Because there's not a piece that comes in on the other side where I think like, "Oh, that's small <laughs> enough to justify." All right, fair, maybe like a three hundred one. Fair, fair enough. Let, let, let's just we'll, we'll call it close enough. I think it's definitely a win for Hertz, though. We'll start with the top. We're going to lead the top I'd side. Rather, I'd rather have Hertz. Right? We're going to lead the top Hertz. right here. Okay. Uh, Kelsey. All right, Kelsey and Njoku. I mean, pretty big he, gap, dude. You, let me ask you this: in lineup start ten, if you're a contender. Like, right. would Njoku in the 109 get you to move off of Kelsey? No. And that's my point. But that that's at least value-wise that you could, could right. match up. But most people right. wouldn't even do that. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd move off it for Njoku, the 109, and the 203. How about <clears> that? <throat> I would do that. Well, if we do that, we are going to obliterate uh, Fitzmagic TD in this trade. So let's just do it for the sake of argument. So now you are left, Mike, with the 24 first and Jahan Dotson versus – Mari Cooper, Tony Pollard, and Damian Pierce. <clears throat> because here's the thing. I think a random 24 first in Amari Cooper are not that crazy if you think it's going to be late. Right. Or I was even going to go like Amari and Jahan Dotson. Like if you wanted the youth. Oof. I like Dotson a lot. I want Cooper. I want Cooper over over Dotson anywhere but i get i get that is close all right so let's let's can't let's cancel them so now well but now okay but now in lineup start 10 we're we're canceling a 24 first for pollard and pierce and i'd rather i'd rather the first right i'll be honest i want the top side let me say that i I I think i think here and, and, and let me let me say why lineup start 10 is very important for me here right think about how these pieces are going to get into your lineup in the lineup start 10 Travis Kelsey, absolutely. Amari Cooper, you're starting, even in lineup start 10. Tony Pollard, when healthy, starting in lineup start 10. Jalen Hurts, absolutely starting. Damian Pierce, maybe, maybe not, but if he ends up being the workhorse in in Houston again, he could absolutely be, right? Look at the bottom side. Yeah, you're going to start in Joku. Dotson, (laughs) certainly not certain. Certainly not certain to start. The 109, maybe, but like the 109 is kind of that range where it's maybe you get a receiver that's not playing a lot maybe that's quentin johnson maybe that's someone takes zay flowers if he gets the draft capital 203 you're probably looking at you know a running back a sean tucker type or one of those running backs you could maybe get uh who did you take at 203 in the last one josh downs josh downs there you go josh downs zay flowers right (laughs) those aren't certainties to start again and then you got the 24 first which i love for liquidity but I look at what you had in your lineup and lineup start 10 and now what you don't have in your lineup, that already makes me not like the bottom side. So I I don't know. The way I look at this, man, I really want the top side. Yeah, I think it's it's closer. Um, it's just one of those deals like where it makes sense if you're on the bottom, if your player values are a little bit different. Uh, it's not an absolute crazy trade. I'm with you, though, like, all day, I would take the top side, though. It, what it does feel like, though, I, and, and let me say this to be actionable, too. Th- this does definitely feel like by the ages in the positions right, that this is, a, this is a contender and rebuild trade, right? Right. Joku gets you younger at tight end. Dotson gets you younger at receiver. Herbert isn't necessarily that much younger than Jalen Hurts, but the thing is, I think people same. are still worried about Jalen Hurts long term, so he might be thinking right. Justin Herbert has a, a longer shelf life, which is and, insane and the to running say. Quarterback I, I, injury, exactly. all that stuff. That's what I'm saying. Uh, not that I view it that way. I'm just con- people's conception. And then 109, 203, 24 first are getting younger. I think that's what this signifies. If I'm going to let, this is another good point, Mike. We talk about this all the time. You're not going to build a contender in March. Not every time, though. But this, for this, you just may have built a contender in March. So I'll do it for the right price. I think the biggest thing B-Hall 7 did, our boy B-Hall, made the time of this trade work in his favor. Doing this around rookie hype season, absolutely smashed. Right. 
Right. Uh, I'm with you though. Like <clears throat> I could also see myself being Fitz magic and kind of doing it in reverse. You know what I mean? Let me hit mm-hmm. the age reset on the tight end. I know it's a big value, but you know, let me get some draft capital, big thing. And let me make a bet against B hall's team winning. So let me get his pick. Ideally, yeah. if I was doing this and sending them all those there's pieces, got, though, there's like, got to be I'm something hoping, that coming though. I, I need I'm, something I'm, else I'm, on my Fitzmagic TV I'm, side rebuilding. I'm, I'm hoping he has like somebody else's 24 first that I can get back. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> yeah, and, may, and maybe this is also with the 24 first thing. Even if you're not betting, if you're betting against B Hall or seven or not, might be irrelevant. Maybe you're leveraging. Maybe this is your fourth or fifth. So it's just like I just want to get more Could of them, too. right? Yep. So I think personally. I'm okay doing that, but I I need more. I need a, I need another. I need another second. I think at minimum on that bottom side, man. If I'm keeping it a buck, I I think that's probably about right. To be honest, like I'll, I'll try to match it up the best way I can, but it is just missing something. It's a late first, a, a one twelve, two o two, two o four. At minimum, I got to have something like that coming back. Otherwise, like I. <laughs> I want to sell these guys, but I also – another thing is you don't have to sell them today. You don't have to sell them on March 26th. You don't have to sell them that at that early point. So I think that's the big thing. Uh, you, you could you could have waited just a touch, I think. So, um, all right. We got now T-Rock is acquiring – wow. <clears throat> Speaking of rookie picks being acquired, 104, 304, and a 24-third are being acquired by T-Rock for Deontay Johnson – A.J. Dillon, a 24 first, which is McNutted's first, and uh, the 202, which ended up being Tajay Spears. <sighs> Mike, <clears throat> Yikes. this is a best ball start 14. So let, let me let me say this. In best ball start 14, you want a lot of shots at skill players to get in, right? So I, I understand Tajay Spears, A.J. Dillon, Deontay Johnson, you want those players. But, Mike, for a quarterback, here, here's the thing, too. If you're going to get uh, Bryce Young, which in the way this deal is constructed, it's the only quarterback unless your 24 first becomes top five or six, right? And yeah. the reason it's crazy is if it was just Bryce Young, that already feels like I want Bryce Young. But you give me the 304, which is now Chase Brown, right? So who's to say Chase Brown isn't similar in value to A.J. Dillon soon? Or uh, not that far from Tajay Spears, which they're not that far right now. Around difference, and you got the twenty four third back, where you could get another type shot like that. Th- I don't want to do this because it's T Rock, but damn, this is this is making my trade look good. It is, it is, especially too. I mean, I mean, you threw my name in there because it's my twenty four first that's out the door, and there's a reason, man. That's uh, my that team pick. is stupid context this is uh defending champ this is the the i won this league it's the 23 112 that's we hope we hope again but uh lost a couple pieces i would say my team got older but no it's the 23 112 i don't the 24 may not be the 112 but it right now you were the defending champ you're the last pick in the draft i don't think it's going anywhere like catastrophic this isn't going to be an early pick in best ball it maybe it's 108 Maybe, maybe, Best right? Case. But that's not that's not probably going to be a quarterback. Nah, I'm good, man. I'm giving up I, Bryce Young. Here's the thing. Let me say the one thing for Kozu's side. If I'm going to give up Bryce Young, Deontay Johnson needs to be a different fucking receiver. Like this has to be. Gosh, I don't want to be crazy, but this has to be DJ Moore type. Yep. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. but it, it's got to be a top twenty something guy. Like, it has to be. I'm coming be off of a, a, I'm coming off of a quarterback that's going to be valued in the top fifteen just because. <laughs> just because we're starving <laughs> for him, starving. That's starving. The, AJ Dillon and Tajay Spears, man. Like, and and no, we've talk, no, we've talked about AJ Dillon. Like, I like his game. He's fun to watch. The quads <clears> are huge. But from a best ball perspective, Adam, we've had like two years where he hasn't done anything for us for best ball. Like, it's cool. It's probably good for the NFL. Maybe in a lineup league you can get by, but in a best ball league he doesn't make your lineup, and he's not really a difference maker. And The team's going to get worse without Aaron Rodgers. So what is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to rely on that. Man, T-Rock did a great job here. 
I hate saying it too. I, it pains me to give this man praise, but uh, we got to do it. I, I'm with you. I want the Bryce Young side, no question about it. Need a much better receiver back. Much better receiver. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would say a much better running back, but T Rex team was so bad he didn't have any. There was AJ Dillon was he lost his best running back in this deal, so that's what happened. With, uh, that's <laughs> that is T-Rex. actually probably not a lie. I guess he does have Jonathan Taylor on him. I <laughs> traded him Jonathan Taylor so I could win the league in the playoffs when JT was hurt. So. That was shit too, right? Yes, yes, it was. All right, <clears throat> all right. Twelve team Superflex uh, PPR start ten lineup league, Mike. So I still don't know how any idea how this got done. <laughs> This is crazy to me. Um, so the nine oh three in a in a startup, right? right. So look, if if I have the nine oh three in a startup and lineup start ten, like a lot of teams, I think. Let me say, I think how this gets done. At that point, people think they're going to get another guy in this range that's going to make this start ten team better, right? Now you got another nine ninth round. It's like okay, this team is looking good. Let me solidify it right here. And you you know what? You can have my first. Like it's first of all, ninth round is too low for me to send my first away unless there's a player that I believe is like a sixth or seventh round startup that's just there right. and it's like, all right, this is this gone this has gone too far. I'm going to get Brandon Ayuk or I'm going to get whatever. And you get the twenty fifth round back, which probably is gonna be a roster clogger of whatever point. But he, it's still something that, back. Even that with us, new year, new me, right? <laughs> new mm. us. <clears throat> How how likely in startups are you to send away your twenty four first anymore? Well, you know what I mean, no, no, no. I'm saying how it gets done for you and I. Now, <laughs> right, right. in a lineup start ten league, I'm not doing it, and it's not going to be in that range of player. Um, I'm just saying, I think how we would even think about it, right? Understandable. Old us, <clears throat> old us would do it yeah. foolishly. You know what, Brandon? Like, I used there. I yeah, let's go. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It turns in. They make this trade, and it turns into Monty. Yeah, a twenty-four first or Monty is a twenty-four first. I don't care what the contract is. I don't care if DeAndre Swift is completely a hundred percent dead. No, the twenty-fifth round is hilarious. From my understanding, he had already selected Monty oh. and then got this offer. Well, wow, that's crazy. Normally they would show up. Really, normally it would show up if that was the case with but Monty this is a, in the. For those of you watching on YouTube, you don't get this on the podcast. But this is uh, the screenshot of the league chat. The league chat doesn't show up with the name, so it's actually. You, in you know sleeper. what? You're right. <clears throat> you go if to you go to the trade, trade it'll phone. show yes. the name. Correct. Yes, yes, good point. Good so. point. Oh my goodness! So then it's like, wow, I can't miss out on David Montgomery. Let this me go send my so, 24. You know what? He selected the 903 and he selected David Montgomery in a startup, which is completely fine. Like in the ninth round for David Montgomery in a startup, I'd do that. Like, depending on what else was there. You know what I mean? Like, that's I fair might enough. do that. I might. 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 Right. Maybe it's my might. fourth running back or fifth running back. Whatever. I'm roster construct. Might. Okay. Uh, and then got the offer. He gets the 24 first from this guy you know what and the 25 12 which in a lineup league is probably nothing but you know what the thumbnail might be the thumbnail might need to be like an inbox special like you know right incoming trade like somehow we signify like you got mail you know and (laughs) it's it's just it's a golden too good to be true are you kidding me are you kidding me think about what think about what a 24 first can buy you in season i'm looking at adp right and just pick wise right without rookies but just pick wise the 201 goes at 905. So very, very, very close, Adam. You're telling me that there ain't a person I know who would buy the 201 for their 24 first. It just doesn't make sense. I'm going to buy this year's second for my future first. No, <laughs> no, like, that's a bad bet. Well, <clears throat> I'm telling you, as people out there, if you have the 110, the 111, the 112, the 201, the 202, if anybody will give you a 24 first, just a random one at this point, you take it. I don't but care who the player is, Adam. The reason, unless, the reason that's true, like though. Will Levis fell to the 110. If you offered me a 24 first, even then, I'm just thinking, like, I may bank on Will Levis, Adam, but that allure of a random 24 first, a random 24 first. I can talk all the shit I want about Will Levis, but the possibility that might turn into a Caleb Williams, a Drake May, a Marvin Harrison Jr., like one of these guys people are are already over their skis with, sign me up. But see, okay, but but see that that the reason that that's true though also is because 
this year, the way the class is broken out, the way the class we see it today, there's not any sexy names in the Besides last Asia. Right. Well, I, no, I'm not going to say that. But like 107 becomes a clear tier break, right? Like after 107, right. because that's where you and, can probably get and Will Levis of, and Gibbs and, of, and JSN. For a lot of people, it might be like the 105 <clears throat> or the 106 too. Right. right. You don't include Will Levis in there. It's Bryce Young, JSN, that Jameer Gibbs, that's your cutoff. Yeah, but like – the reason I say that is because it's a quarterback and then the names in front of them are very sexy. Like Gibbs is sexy, even JSN is sexy. These are sexy names. If the class had names like that that were in the back end of the first or in the early second, I I understand it more. But there, there's not that, right? Like the, the players, what we think about the names from that point are Zach Charbonnet, right? Why didn't he come out last year? Is he is he going to catch passes, <clears throat> say Flowers, he's too small, Josh Downs, he's too small. That's the reason, especially, right? Because there's no one that has guaranteed safe certainty floor, whereas that's... that's That is actually... <clears throat> this class is deep, all right? And there's some names that we like, but you just mentioned Zach Charbonnet. And Adam, I don't think a lot changed on his prospect profile from, from last year to this year, other than being another year older. Right, it wasn't right. like he did anything super special this year that we didn't see two years ago. I think about this time last year, before we knew he was going back, or, or just slightly before, before the declares and the combine and all that stuff. But I remember specifically ranking Zach Charbonnet as like RB five in that class, and we thought t- twenty two ended up being a horrible class. It was, it was disgusting, and that was a guy who I was like. I think he's the fifth best running back in this class. And now here we are where it's like he's RB3. He's a back end first. Yep. Not saying this class is bad. We definitely whiffed on last year, but that is just some context for you where it's like that's the guy at the back end here. It's just the reality of this class is it has a ton of depth. Like another takeaway from my trade, and it's not to say that it's uh, you should view it as close or fair. The third round has actually got a bunch of people that people want. Now, are they right. should they be worthy of Nick Chubb and Aaron Jones? No, but the third round is littered with people because there are like 30 to 30-some-plus 30 players that people want, but it's just after 107, like, let's call it what it is. 110 to like 206 isn't really that different, right? Right. And then it's the same thing, like 207 to 3 whatever isn't really that different, but there's a lot of names, so – that's the way this class is just shaking out. It's every year's different, but that's what we're dealing with right now. Here's a fun game for you. How many 23 third round selections would you send for one random 24 first? In best ball? Name All it. of them. <laughs> Not right. <clears throat> Next. All of them. Um, every one I had. So All 12 if you had them. It, yes. Uh, I probably don't, but all of them. Whether I, I have know, four or I have five or I have six or I have 10 or I have 12. I wouldn't put it past you to have a league where you literally have all 12 third rounders. I don't know That's how. That's true. I did it. I did it. You have a league that has all 12 first rounders, so why not? That, third that was a lot. Easy. That was a lot harder to do. I guess I guess it's because normally I'm, I'm trying to send my thirds away as grease pieces and not trying to collect them like diamonds in first rounds. All right. So, Mike, we are looking at here a 12-team start nine super flex lineup league. Seven goat rings in a start nine lineup. Um, seven goat rings is acquiring Trey Lance, who we just talked about a little iffy. Brandon Ayuk, a 24 third, Kenneth Gainwell, sending away Tua Tonga Vailoa, a 24 fourth, Terrace Marshall, and the 110, which we just talked about. Nobody really will send a 24 fourth, or they should send a 24 first for the 110. So, once again, Brandon Ayuk, Trey Lance, Kenneth Gainwell, 24 third, acquired by seven goat rings for Tua Tonga Vailoa, the 110, Terrace Marshall, and the 24 fourth. Mike, what do you say? Man. All right. So, start nine. Terrace Marshall, Kenneth Gainwell are just kind of irrelevant, to be honest. Like, they're really just kind of irrelevant. I think you can just get rid of both of those pieces. They're equally worthless. But I want Gain- But I want Gainwell because as much as Gainwell probably isn't going to have it happen, there might be a scenario in Philly where right. maybe I'm pressing the button on him. I'm – if I'm pressing the button on Terrace Marshall and start nine lineup, I have a problem. Or I am rebuilding, right? Man. Man, I hate to do this to goat rings, but I kinda want the top side. <clears throat> I know, man. I know I do too. But why? Can we can we at least discuss why? 
Liz, I love Brandon Ayuk. You love Brandon Ayuk. But the 110 for Brandon Ayuk, I'm just kind of like. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. How many times would you actually do it, though? <laughs> send 110 or send Brandon Ayuk? Send 110 for Brandon Ayuk. I'm not likely to send 110 for Brandon Ayuk, but there, because I have so much exposure, I might send Brandon Ayuk for 110. Okay. And Trey Lance or Tua? Tua, man. Not, no not, not even – all the injury concerns about Tua, all the hate, I don't care. It's not Trey Lance. Well, I think the two best pieces in the deal. A year ago, people would have said Trey Lance pretty easy. The two best pieces in the deal are the quarterbacks, but the third best piece is the one ten. So Styles is getting. Two I also out think one ten and Ayuk are close, but to your point, right. it it leans one ten. So then Ayuk would be fourth. And but I think, but I, let me say this: Gainwell over Terrace Marshall in the third over the fourth. But that doesn't make up for what you lost in the bigger the pieces, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. Can I tell you the big thing too? <clears throat> Lineup start nine is all about the quarterback position. If you don't play in this, a lineup start nine is all about the quarterback position. And this is a crazy thing, man. People are scared of Tua for concussions, and we're petrified on Trey Lance because he might not actually be the starting <laughs> That's quarterback the thing. for San Francisco. So it isn't like, but, like he's going to a QB. Like uh, Replace Trey Lance with Daniel Jones. But like, that's the thing. If you want to, no, that's exactly the point. If you want to get out of Tua's uncertainty and you want to get into a certain quarterback, it's not I'm true. not going to fight you. I wouldn't do that, but I won't fight you there because you're like, all right, I'm scared here. You went from scary to scary hours. This is holy hell. This is we're in a haunted house all of a sudden with Trey Lance, right? Yeah. Like, t- Man, Tua. Here, here's the thing about Tua. Let me just say the difference. Tua. The problem for Tua is going to be if if he's not playing football, because when he plays, he's fine. He's actually very good. Trey Lance hasn't played football and is scary. Like Trey Lance is scary is a lot lower. Tua's only really, really yeah. scary if he has is he's forced to retire. We've we've seen Tua be good. Good. Great. Like, uh, we've seen Tua be great. Yeah. Yeah. I was just about to say the words elite because his actual fantasy production when he was healthy was elite. It hasn't been a complete season, but in moments elite. Trey Lance, I've yet to see really do anything, man. We got a rain game and then we got a You know what he's elite in? He's elite in what he went for in trades the the prior two seasons. And that's it. <clears throat> man. Sorry, seven goat rings. You're usually fleecing people. We're on a trend here. We're on a trend here. We need to get back to the old goat rings. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm with you. Twelve team super flex, one point seven five tight end premium. Starting thirteen players. Um, I believe this is is this lineup? I don't think it matters, actually. Um, <laughs> but I, I just like for context. Anyway, Melo Nello is out here gaping people because we have Christian McCaffrey, Mark Andrews, Kenny Pickett, a 24 third and 24 fourth, uh, sending away to Titsucker 69, Tyler Lockett, Mike Gusecki, Miles Sanders, the 105, a 24 second, and the 210 from roster baiter Cody. Oh, man. This is bad, bro. This is bad. This is very bad. bad. Because here, here's the thing, right? Let, let, let's just talk generically for a second. 105, a tight end premium of 1.75. Mark Andrews and the 105, are, are they neutralize each other, I think. I was just going to say they'd be close in like just the regular tight end premium, right? They, they yeah. go within a handful of picks in ADP and startups. Um, I'd probably lean the quarterback just because of – Everything we've talked about—it's going to be a quarterback there, right? But they're very close. In a one point seven five man, I, I'd say Mark Andrews probably goes before quite a bit. Yeah, and but let's just say for value purposes, it's neutral because it's very close, right? Say it's neutral, <clears throat> okay? Because that's the thing: the 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 tits, 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 tits sucker sixty nine is all valued. <laughs> I can't say this with a straight face. It's all value in the one hundred five. So now, if you take that out for one player up top. That now leaves you with Christian McCaffrey and Kenny Pickett, which you're acquiring for Peanuts. aging Tyler Lockett, nothing in Mike Gusecki. Peanuts. Miles Sanders, the 210 and the 24 second. Peanuts. No. Really bad. This is, this is, this is, 
Is this what this is this also just the criminal activity uh trade show? Like what is happening be. in these trades? Hey, we've had some really close ones, but we've also had some gapers. We've I mean, had like at least three or four rough ones. Oof. I can't justify that one at all. Okay, Mike, <clears throat> this one I had to put on the show. Tyler Lorenz, twelve team super flex. It is lineup start eleven. So when you get to these lineup leagues, start nine, start ten, start eleven, the quarterback is supremely valuable. <clears throat> but Mike, is it this valuable? So Deshaun Watson is Tyler Lorenz's uh, get here. He's going to get Deshaun. He is sending away a 24 first that's not his, a 25 first that is his own, and then he's sending away the 107, which may or may not have a chance to be Will Levis. Um, So it's three first and a mid in, in this year's class. Mike, what do you think about this in lineup start 11? Is Deshaun Watson still because of the quarterback issue is he still worth three first yes okay yes okay it's uh listen i first look at this and anytime you see like one of these qb nines qb tens go for three first and you go man that seems pricey but you have to remember there's only a handful of them and they don't become available in every league very often. I mean, oh, well, you, especially you see, don't like, become available that, in like this where there's not actually a quarterback coming back because, right. like we talked about, 107 Lying may not right. actually be Will Levis. Like there's a chance in right. this type of a league that Will Levis is gone. So now you're just sending picks, right? And which is hard to do. Um, I think there's only a handful of quarterbacks out there that you can just send three first four and and people would just hit it without sending any quarterback back. And it just so happens. I think Deshaun Watson kind of falls in that range. I think Lamar falls in that range. Dak falls in that range of guys that you would solidly pay for. Fields falls in that range. Fields, man, he keeps rising though. (laughs) He trade for DJ Moore. He's higher maybe even. Uh, Kyler in that range? Yeah, I think Kyler's in that range. Definitely Tua because people hate Tua. Um, But But that's but that's it though, Adam. Man, I think I'm all. I want the Watson, even though giving up three first is tough for me to do. Uh, I'll tell you the other point. The other point don't become available very often. The other point is because one's a twenty-five. If you tell me it's two twenty-fours, or it's one hundred seven and one hundred three, totally different conversation. Let me ask you this right now, okay? CD Lamb replacing with Deshaun Watson. Would you send this for CD Lamb? No. Would you take it for CD Lamb? Yes. Okay. But is it close? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very. And that's a wide that's a wide Very. receiver, man. Very. That's a wide receiver. But but we're seeing like keep trade cut. Mike, I'm I agree with you, by the way. Um it's a good point. But keep trade cut, for example, Mike, has CD Lamb as wide receiver tw- uh, uh not overall player twelve, and he's a good bit ahead of Watson, who's thirty fourth. So like <clears throat> the reason I say Which- that which isn't shows reflected that, in the ADP, though, because they're literally right next to each other. 112 and 201. Right. <laughs> it's, it's like, I need quarterbacks. I got to take it. But I, I think, yes, lineup start 11. If I'm going to consolidate like this, I've got to get a top 12 quarterback, period. Do you think When I send a three any... first deal for somebody in a lineup league, it's going to be a quarterback like this, or it's going to be like, it, it won't be for, but it's going to have to be for like, what we thought Pitts was going to be last year. Like, it's got to be a warp difference maker and a scarce position. Otherwise, I'm good. Or, or it's Jamar Chase or Jefferson. That's it. Those are the, those are the think, exceptions. Do you think there's any scenario out there where you would send away Deshaun Watson for C.D. Lamb? Good, goodness gracious, no. Well, okay. uh, it, it, unless I had quarterback hoarded so ridiculous that we're talking I got six QBs. That's That's it. a dunk on keep trade cut, but I don't believe your bullshit, man. Because that ain't happening in any league I play. I'd well, love to see it. I'm actually agreeing with you. My only point is just that C.D. Lamb value-wise, and that's why I, as much as he's great value, <laughs> I'm not sending three first for him. Like, right. That's right. to the same point. So, yeah. <clears throat> Give me Watson, man. Good job, Tyler. I It, it <clears throat> shocked me, but I, I want the Watson side. Give me the quarterback, especially because you didn't pay one back at all. Not even a turd. Not even a greaser. You didn't even give him Jacoby Brissett or Zach Wilson. You just said, here's picks. Give me a quarterback. Ooh, man. Holy cow. (laughs) I thought we had these done. I thought we were over with these kind of deals. Desmond Ritter and the 102 for Kyler Murray. Let me ask you this, Mike, because we we, we talked about this a lot. But in a two-quarterback best ball league, does it make it any closer? No. Okay. 
If you're doing super flex right, you're starting two quarterbacks every single week in your best ball spots Correct. anyways. But, it doesn't matter. But the difference, it though, it well, it does because no, it on doesn't. bye weeks, on certain weeks, you can have someone else fill that spot. If it you don't matter. Well, it does. It, it makes quarterback even more important. No. That's a fallacy. Doesn't really matter. Quarterback, <laughs> quarterback does matter more in two quarterback no. leagues. Don't let Mike tell you that's not the case. No. It it is. But it's it shouldn't it shouldn't make your team it's drastically change. It's <laughs> not. It is not. I'm not gonna let lies be spewed on here. Two quarterback is make does make it more important, but it doesn't Listen, mean man, it, it doesn't it ever, doesn't it doesn't mean that Kyler Murray is now devalued or something like that. Come on, man. You ever been in a, a matchup in a best ball league where you look at the other team and you're like Wait, they don't have a second quarterback for their super flex spot. What do you what you're like Shaquille O'Neal, man. Barbecue chicken alert. <laughs> barbecue chicken alert. Okay. Doesn't I'm with matter. you. It is barbecue chicken. Um it, it's you know, I'm with you. But someone could pick up Isaiah McKenzie and score thirty points. And right. And, and now all of a sudden, like <laughs> it's not a zero in a quarterback spot. In their super flex spot, it's actually Naheem Hines sliding in with four points. And that could be the case too, but even four points is better than zero. So that's not by much. Come on. All right. right. Uh, Anyway, back back to actionable stuff. The actual trade. This. Let me say this: If Desmond Ritter is the starter in Atlanta all year, this is really crusty, and I still want Kyler Murray, but I get why I think the Who's is doing it. Um. It's also a risk of what if Desmond Ritter isn't the starter all season? What if Desmond Ritter's really bad at throwing the football? What if he looks like Malik Willis? And we're like, damn. Um, not not because then it's 102 versus Kyler, and we're already on record saying we want Kyler Murray there. <clears throat> I, I think 102, though, it's not a bet I still want to make today. And I, I like a lot of the quarterbacks in this class. But at 102, you get to make your pick of this class, which right now on Keep Trade Cut is getting close and crazy to Kyler Murray and some are past in the rookie in the rookie class. So, like on a value perspective, I know what uh Dan, Dan Hoos is doing. For me personally, I, I still want Redward side, even in two quarterback, even knowing all that, um, that it's two quarterback versus super flex. Listen, that was uh, it's just it's just tough it's just tough for me to take 102 over Kyler Murray, even if everyone else says that's the cool thing to do. The, the pick was CJ Stroud. <clears throat> it was already made. Damn. CJ Stroud and Desmond Ritter or Kyler Murray. Because it says Redwoods on here. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Um it's a shit four league. We did the draft. That's true. The who's <clears throat> picked CJ Stroud. Uh I like CJ Stroud quite a bit, but I still want Kyler here, I think. Kyler what do you say? Me, do you say the same thing? Kyler. Okay. Yeah, All right. Kyler. We're on the same page. Well, let me see. Uh, we, want, we want the Kyler side. Uh, the two quarterback thing, uh, Mike says, doesn't even matter. But I think it's still a little bit me- meaningful. But, yeah, I, I want Kyler here. Um, I understand it in best ball, man. You're getting two st- – potentially you're getting two starting quarterbacks that are youthful. But I want Kyler Murray. Um, it's just, just the Kyler. way it is. Yep. All right. So, Mike, we have a roster bait or J cap trade. I know these are your favorites, uh, two of your favorite guys in the whole world. <clears throat> Speaking of 102, uh, that's McNutted's pick that he didn't have. I don't even know how this is possible. 102 from McNutted, uh, 111 from Brandon, a 24 first, a 105 from J cap, and a 24 first from J cap. So, Mike, five firsts, um, two oh, that's, pretty, uh, pretty that's- early. <clears throat> That's the uh, the 102 that was featured a couple of trade shows ago where I traded it away for Smitty and the 110. And yep, it's else. getting tossed around. It's getting tossed around. It's getting around. tossed around now. Now, now yeah. Cody, Rosterbader, is going to have it. So uh, uh, being acquired is Josh Allen, who's obviously the focal point of this big trade. Um, you're adding in Kamara, who has the suspension looming. Cordell Patterson feels like Dust is uh, being nice. And Brock Purdy, who... I think for Mike is going to really skew how this trade's viewed Stop almost it. because he hates him some Brock Purdy. Stop but it. no, honestly, like Josh Allen um, is the feature piece. Purdy and Kamara are nice, but um, obviously not in the range of the picks coming over. Patterson feels dust. But Mike, what do you think about this trade, man? These four pieces being acquired for all those first round picks. Take four of them and cancel out <clears throat> Josh Allen, man. Okay, so let's do that. Let, let, let's just for a second. Let, let's go. Let's go. 111, 24 first. 105, 24 first for Josh Allen. Yeah. 
Would you do that? Yeah. Is the 102 – now here's the big question. Would you send away a 102 for Alvin Kamara, Brock Purdy, and Cordell Patterson? Not a damn chance. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, Last let, Raider got it. Let, let, me, let, me, let me give it to you this way. What if it's 102, 105, and the 24 first for Josh Allen? That's fair. <clears throat> Agreed. Yeah. Now, what about what would you send 111 in a best ball league that's super flex for Brock Purdy, Alvin Kamara, and Cordell Patterson? No. Really? No, nah, I'm good. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's close. I'm not saying I would do it, but I think that's pretty close. Especially because Brock Pur- because Brock Purdy is as much as we don't like him. If he's a starter in Frisco at some point next year, and you get Kamara, like it's that's not crazy for one eleven, man. It's, it's really not, crazy. not. I just ain't doing it. <clears throat> I'll eight. tell you. Let, let me let me say this about this trade. I think on paper, on face value, it's a very fair one. But I'm looking at five pieces that feel very very good. Right. Versus I'm looking at one piece that feels very, very good. Like elite. Like different than all the first. Right. Josh right. Allen feels much better than it. But I'm looking at, man, like if he is the only thing I'm getting in a best ball where we're starting 13, ugh, like there's some yeah. risk with Kamara. There's some risk with Purdy and Patterson feels like nothing. Man. You know how hard it is to in a best ball league to actually get four firsts for one of these elite quarterbacks? <laughs> like people just don't do it. Not, not only did not you get best those, ball he's like, here, take some, take some other stuff. <laughs> let's, let's make it five first here. <laughs> Have it. I'll, I'll say this. Pur, pur, I, I really believe this truly in my heart of hearts. I think Purdy is what hinges this deal. And it's incredibly hard to say. Because if Purdy ends up being more like what you and I thought he would be, which is like not going to do much. He's not going to start. He's going to end up back in, you know, no, no man's land. I, I really want Cody's side. But if Purdy ends up being like the starter for Frisco for the next like three or four seasons and is pretty good in fantasy, I, I actually do want Jay Cap side. That's the bet. Okay. I really think that's the bet that hinges the deal. Like I, I truly believe that because yeah, Allen, awesome. we are we can already break Allen out. It, it, Allen is being paid for in this deal, right? Yeah. Man, I, this is two shows now. This is the second part of the show where I have to give someone praise that I don't like giving praise because <laughs> they don't ever take it well. <laughs> Good job, it, Cody. It, I was going to say, is it Jake or Cody? And it's Cody. No. All right. I'm, I'm, with, I'm with you, though. Um, Next trade. <laughs> all right, Cody. We love you. Um, rip. All right. So <clears throat> first time, defense. first time making the show. All right. So, Mike, this is a 14 team super flex. It's IDP. We're going to start nine offense and seven defense. This is Ty. Uh, shout out to Ty, Savage member. Been in the in the Savage for a little while. This is the first time he's dropped a trade in the, in the Shithead Trades channel. Um, so I had to make sure this was featured. Absolute must. So he's getting Greenlaw, Mac Jones, and 224 first for Kyler Murray, Michael Pittman, and 224 seconds. Now, real quick, Mike, you know, I, I like to look at the little details. What's crazy about this? Think about it from this perspective just for a second because we're talking Kyler again. <clears throat> Both the 24 firsts that are going to tie, they're not SNG for life. So you know what this is? And he put this. this now he has five. So what this was is you had two managers trying to basically pick apart the 24 class. And Ty is saying, I want all your leverage of the 24 class too. So now Ty really has the 24 leverage side. He's getting Mac Jones, which this is a lineup league. Like lineup league, Mac Jones to me is kind of iffy. I want him still, but he's not a priority. You're getting five twenty four first now. Uh, Greenlaw is a nice piece, honestly, in in uh, IDP. You're sending away Murray and Pittman. That feels like a lot. It feels tough. So I, I'm, I'm going to let you start breaking it down. What your thoughts are? <clears throat> I want the Murray Pittman side in the two seconds, but I do understand the leverage play. And and that is something that can work out for it. We talked a little bit about your deal and how leverage can work in your favor. So it's not like this is dead in the water from the get-go. Um, it just needs to work out where you can actually use that leverage. 
Uh, if he doesn't ever get no. to use the leverage and he's just stuck making picks. Uh, now, let me ask you this um, because I, I forgot to say this part. I had to just go make sure I was right. These both project more on the early side. All right. More shots at the uh, the dartboard. He says he knows five. He has five first that are one is mid, and then the remainder are like guaranteed top five. On the trajectory Drake May and Caleb Williams are on, it's not unreasonable to say that they enter next year, you know, valued the same, if not higher, than Kyler Murray. At least in the range, right? Right, right. So if you can lock up secure in one, if not both of them, heady move in the future. It's just a lot to give up right now. That's the thing. I, I actually fully agree with that that breakdown because if this is what it took for you to basically guarantee you have 102, 101, 102, 103, 104, like if you if you now have that for sure, if you can say that without any shadow of a doubt, I'll take this trade. I will do that. I will 100% do that. But the problem is if you're wrong on that bet and somehow you miss 101, or you miss 102. Uh, now Kyler is another quarterback that we – you don't want to just let these guys go. You know, I think – here, let me say this. I know what he's doing. I like your trade, Ty. I think, actually, if you can tell me that you have five of the top picks in the 24 class, I understand what you're doing. But let me say to everyone watching this show, this isn't your trade. And if you're thinking about stuff like this, I think one of the biggest flaws that I've seen – in big trades is leveraging and projecting like you're basically, you know, kind of people watching and you're, you're saying all this stuff. Like I, I see what's happening here and here and here. Stop projecting a year out a year ago. Mike and I will admit we were so wrong on so many things and so much changes. Right. right. This is one of them. And, and here's the thing. Like if you want to get what you think project early first, I'm all for it. Except for caveats, big asterisk. Go ahead, asterisk it right now today. Quarterbacks that are top 12. Chase and Jefferson. Probably end of list. Maybe one of the elite tight ends. I'm okay after that. If you want to leverage some of these receivers that are very high, fine. If you want to you know, send away running backs, Kenneth Walker or something to do that, fine. What I'm not doing, though, because the whole reason you're doing that is what? To get quarterbacks. So I think be careful – because if you if you send away Watson or Murray or De- just be careful that you're doing that, thinking you're going to get the better quarterback when you don't know for sure, because you're sending away one of the quarterbacks everybody wants. That I think is one of the right. biggest flaws I've seen that's happened is everybody going to get cute and get what they think is the one on one, and they're sending away like the shit that matters. Just be careful <laughs> with that, you know. Right. Right, that old saying, "Bird in the hands worth two in the bush." <laughs> there you go. Kyler Murray's exactly. a bird in the hand, man. Damn, <laughs> the two well in the done. Bush is the 24 first, so that, that's, that's actually, the problem with it. It's exactly right. All right, last trade. New patron. We uh, are constantly have new patrons on the show. 12-team Superflex tiered PPR. Start 12 best ball. I like – you know what I like, Mike? I like a new patron. It's in a best ball dynasty list. <laughs> I, right come on, man. Come on. <laughs> like, that's – let's go. Man. I love it. All right. Let's and he's go. acquiring 101. Um, now, this is a startup trade, as you could tell. So he's getting the 101, the 101, <clears throat> 101, 712, and he sent away the 206, 306, 406. The, this, this person listens to me, and that's why, why do you think why do, you, <laughs> why do you think Let's Reigns go. is a patron? He's in a best ball uh, league. Yes. He is listening. He is Acquiring not just listening. He is, he is listening and actively partaking in what he's listening to. This is great, man. This is – Patrick wow. Mahomes, you could truthfully argue, is worth the 206, 306, and 407. The problem that we've talked about multiple times, if you send all those away, yeah, Mahomes is probably valuable as those, but your team probably can't fix itself. Like, you so don't have hard, enough to – Right. Hard. You get back the 712 and the 1001, right. you Good can't place. screw this up. We just talked about with Scott on the uh, the best ball roster construction series where we, he does the three for three, and we all kind of agreed we have that range where it's like the top 12 rounds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I can just get a couple of picks back in those rounds, I'll do this 10 out of 10 times. <clears throat> this is perfect, 
perfectly executed. Somebody paid attention and they executed it to perfection, and I love it. I you love can't, it. You can't the screw seven, this up, The man. 712 is a fantastic pick, and, and judging by it, just the numbers here, it looks like they probably picked at the 106, 107 on the 106. So this would be the one. Reversal. This would be the 107 because it'd be 107 and then third round reversal, 206, 306, and then 407. That's the part that throws me off, though. You got 206 and 306. So right. So it'd be 107, and then on the way back would be 206, and then third round reversal would make it 306, right? And then it would be 407. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. <clears throat> yep. Okay. All right. Yep. One hundred seven. So, so I'm, I'm, I am. We're, we're. You and I are both so in agreement. This is one hundred one. Easy. Securely locked into another top eight quarterback. Patrick Mahomes and Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields, or Lamar Jackson, easily. <laughs> Maybe even Justin Herbert, depending on where the wide receivers went. Yep. That's awesome. That's yes. awesome. That's yeah. fantastic. Seventh round, you get yourself a wide receiver, or running back. Tenth round, same thing. I mean, the the two, the three, the four, nice players, but lock up the two elite quarterbacks and get some pieces back worthwhile in a best bowl league. Bravo. Fantastic. Reigns, love that you're a part of the patron. Love that you're already in a best ball league before joining. Um, that is a good way to end the show um, just because <laughs> we've, talked, we, we've, ta- we've talked about it so many times. If I'm going to tear up, it's for the elite quarterbacks. And if I'm going to tear up and get equal parts back that are in the top 10 rounds, there's no discussion, really. Um, we 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 broke it down many times, uh, so Reigns, appreciate it. Ty, uh, first deal, I thought it was a pretty good one, I will say. Again, it, it's risky just because Kyler's one of the quarterbacks you really want, and we're still projecting for the other ones. But if you end up having all of them, if you have all the 24s that matter, uh, that's a smash. So um, some some crazy deals here today, Mike. I mean, between the one that I got sent that's out, outrageously <laughs> lopsided. Um, I mean, you, you cannot – honestly, Mike, sometimes I think what I've found about Dynasty 2 is just like the more leagues I have, it's basically like you just show up every day, right? Like you show up every day for work, and then sometimes just random good things will happen to you. And that one was – the most ridiculous good thing I've seen in my inbox in years. Like the more we create content, you've already talked about this. Like people ain't trying to trade with McNutted. They're like, you know, I, Mike, I had rounds, many teams that I am stonewalled. I'm forced to make picks. They don't want to trade with me. And then that happens. I'm like, how, how has this happened? Um, so yeah, there's it it a lot of really good deals. If you do want your deals featured on the show, patreon.com forward slash South Harmon, uh, we'll happily grade them. I think moving forward, that was 13 today. I think moving forward, uh, we, we didn't even get to half of the deals that were in the sh- trade channel. Moving forward pretty soon, we're going to have to probably do a second trade show throughout the week. Um, little exciting thing for you. But if you want them, sh- if you want them featured, do that. Otherwise, uh, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about it. Let us know, um, you know, that you didn't tell didn't tell the cops where I'm at, but I'm, I'm wanted for uh, for murder. <laughs> what uh, what do you got, Mike? Anything before we get out of here? That's all I got. Uh, <clears throat> hell of a trade show. Make sure that you're checking out everything that's going on at Destination Devi, especially the new sponsorship with Underdog. Got to plug it. Plug it. It'll be down in the description there. We have our own promo code. So if you guys want to support us, that's a great way to support us. 4D Chess, plus you get some extra bonuses, 100% deposit match on your first $100, and a free year in the Destination Devi Discord if you deposit more than $10. So Go hit that up. We're going to start doing some underdog best ball drafts as soon as I get back from the Caribbean. Yep. Can't wait to be doing those, uh, especially 100%. doing some of them live, right? Being able to. I'm, uh, I'm excited for those. Mike, I, you know, it's funny. COVID money. year. COVID year uh, was when I first started doing underdog drafts because it's like there's nothing to do. In Ohio, actually, you can do it. So hopefully in your state, you can. And Mike, I cleaned up that year. And yes. That was before, like, we know what we know, you and I doing such heavy best ball strategy right like right. not only are you doing us a favor by using our promo code and joining but i will be if you tune in and do it i will be shocked if you don't win money and i don't right. say that lightly i really right. don't say that lightly. you get i, I can't put it out there like hey you're guaranteed you to win so money bad. i'm not gonna lie and say like you're guaranteed to win money but if you if you draft and put the principles we talk about into effect you're gonna be a really good shot to win money plus we're gonna you're gonna get extra you're going to get whatever 100 percent deposit match back to you 
So strongly recommend doing that if you are into best ball, which if you're listening to us, you should at least understand some of the best ball. Um, when Mike gets back from his, uh, you know, being on a boat, as, as he likes to say, we'll dive into more of those. We'll do some live ones. You could even join in with us and do a live one with us. You can use your money however you want. Um, but outside of that, uh, I think that's all we got for, for this trade show. That's all I got. Can't wait to see the deals next week. Hopefully Adam uh, isn't out there catching potties again. I will be. But um, <laughs> outside of that, we'll see you back here. Same time, same place next week on the Dynasty Trade Show. Hope you're having a great weekend. We are out of this thing. Peace. Peace.